Welcome. Now we might be aware that we've just had Meta's second ever gaming showcase. In these showcases, they showcase some of the games that are coming for the Quest in the coming year, as well as showing some first ever gameplay footage and some other bits and pieces along the way. And what I'll be doing in this video is talking about some of the games that I'm most excited about and going into a deeper dive to explore everything we know about those games so far. Now, as always, there's timestamps below if you wanna to skip to a certain part and make sure you stay tuned to the first part of this video where I'll be talking about an exciting upcoming newsletter called XR Takeaway that you can sign up to right now. And remember, if you like the video, do remember to give it a thumbs up and if you love your quest, and you like this kind of content, you're not subscribed already, you might also consider subscribing. So let's check out those games. Before we get onto the games, I want to mention my newsletter, XR Takeaway. It's filled with the latest VR, AR, and XR news delivered straight to your inbox twice a week. In this newsletter, you can expect the latest rumors, hardware, software, and games, as well as other things, such as a chance to win a prize just by referring a friend. For example, this month's prize, you get a chance to win a Quest 2 just by referring a friend who might be interested which is not bad for a few seconds work. It's completely free, there's no risk, you can unsubscribe at any time. To sign up, click on the link in the description below, fill in a few details and you're all set. So let me start by saying there were loads of great games shown at the MetaQuest Gaming Showcase. Even though I was a bit disappointed we had no more news on GTA San Andreas VR, I thought this gaming showcase was a big improvement from the first one as they seemed to show more games they had a few more surprises in there and they kept the talking to a minimum and just focused on showing the upcoming games and updates. Now there are a lot of good games shown like Moss Book 2 or Espire 2 and if you want to check out their trailers I'll link the video that I made in the description below that gives a compilation of all the trailers from that showcase. But in this video I'm going to focus on four of the games that were shown that I'm really excited about I'm going to go into a deep dive on each of them and talk about what we know so far and why we should be excited. Ghostbusters is coming to the quest. Now this was the one on the list I was most excited about because I'm a fan of the series and it was always one of those franchises I thought would work really well in VR. Well now it's actually confirmed coming to the quest but don't get too excited about the prospect of getting slimed in VR just yet as we don't have a release date and the footage you see here is clearly not gameplay footage. So there's not a whole lot we know about this one right now, but we do know that you start off in your very own San Fran based HQ. So it's not going to be the New York firehouse from the movies that we're all familiar with. But we do get a familiar plot protecting the city from ghosts and you can do this one alone or thank goodness team up with up to three friends in co-op and use all the classic equipment we all know and love such as the PK E-meter, the Proton Pack, and, well, I say using the classical equipment we're all familiar with, but it does look like, from the trailer at least, there have been some adjustments to the look of things. So if we compare the Proton Pack and gun from the movie to the trailer, we can see it looks quite a bit different. So these changes are probably going to create two groups of people, those who couldn't care less about the change, and those, like me, who are a bit bothered by this. Uh, let me explain why. So ever since I was a kid, I wanted to step into these movies, actually be Dr. Peter Venkman, strap on my proton pack, hunt down ghosts with my mates. Now VR gives me that opportunity in a way that I've never experienced it before. And when they change details like this, it kind of takes away from that vision. For me, it's kind of like changing the iconic sound of a pulse rifle in an Aliens game. It just doesn't feel quite right. So I hope that in the game, you're able to choose different skins for the equipment to keep it looking in line with the original films. Other than that, the trailer is looking great and I can't wait to find out more. Next is a game that many of us have been waiting for. It was originally called Project 4, but has been officially announced as Bone Lab, and it's a follow-up to the popular VR action sandbox game, Boneworks. It's set to launch on Quest 2 and PC VR in 2022, although we don't have a specific date just yet. So the footage you're seeing here is rendered from the PC version, and the story goes is that you embody an outcast who is sentenced to death and is trying to escape their fate. 
you have to discover a pathway to a hidden underground research facility where a series of challenging experiments and discoveries await. What we know about this one and what you can see from the footage is that it will have a realistic physics system. This is part of what made the original game so good. But the physics with the original game could get a bit janky at times, which could be actually quite fun, but over the years this has been in development, the physics system has been worked on to hopefully deliver a less janky experience. And the developers have confirmed that the PC version and the Quest 2 version will have similar physics. So the physics on the Quest 2 won't be downgraded, despite the fact that Quest is obviously not as powerful as a PC. And we can also see by the trailer that the original game's arena and trial modes are set to return. In the arena mode you get to fight waves of enemies. And the trial mode is a series of challenges using different weapons. And there's also mod support that will allow you to experience new maps, new weapons and new avatars. I know you can. Open your eyes. Another game that I'm super excited about is Red Matter 2. Now the original Red Matter is a sci-fi virtual reality game and in the original game, you play as Agent Epsilon, who crash lands on one of Saturn's moons, has to explore this nearby Volgradian base and solve a bunch of puzzles. The original game was super atmospheric, had fantastic visuals and great gameplay, even though some of the puzzles were a bit confusing and the game was fairly short. In this game, you respond to a distress signal belonging to an old friend and you come to their rescue. And during your journey, you unveil Volgravia's darkest secrets. Now taking a look at this trailer, you might think this was recorded on the PC, and that's correct, but the developers say they are emulating Quest 2 graphics, so in other words, it's meant to be fairly representative of what you'll see on the Quest 2, and the visuals just look freaking amazing. Now this second installment will expand on the original game, by having a rich narrative driven adventure element. So you still have challenging puzzles as before, but you'll have other things like a new jetpack that allow you to zip around the environment. You also have a new tool that lets you hack terminals as well as a weapon to help you solve puzzles and in combat situations. So the previous one didn't really have combat, this one will. Meaning it's not just more adventure that you get with the second installment, but action adventure. The devs have also confirmed that Red Matter 2 will have more physics based objects in the hopes of increasing interaction and making things feel more realistic and immersive. Red Matter 2 is scheduled to launch on the Quest 2 in the summer of 2022. Among Us VR is my next top pick. Now this is developed by none other than Shell Games. Shell Games are responsible for producing games like I Expect You To Die 2 and Until You Fall, which are highly rated quality VR titles. So you've got this awesome studio that's making the VR version of the highly popular multiplayer teamwork game, Among Us. So awesome studio, awesome game, absolute winning combination. This game is gonna be nothing less than brilliant. So for anyone who doesn't know, Among Us has players working together to fix a crumbling spaceship and figuring out who the imposter is. In order for the imposters to win, they must kill all the crewmates. Well, if the crewmates are to win, they must either discover who the imposters are and vote them off the ship, or finish repairing the ship before the imposters kill everyone. So as a crewmate, you're really paranoid as you go around fixing things on the ship. You call emergency meetings to try to vote out imposters, but you better hope you choose correctly because the imposters will be trying to sabotage the ship, kill off the crew, and even frame innocent crewmates. So how is this different from the original version? Well, for one thing, it's a first-person perspective rather than a top-down view. This will allow imposters to sneak up behind you without you even being aware. You can also do funny things, like if you want to accuse someone of being an imposter, you just point your virtual finger at them. But despite all its differences, it will still feature the same core mechanics that made the original game so much fun. We also know that this will be its own standalone multiplayer experience. That means you cannot play this game with someone who's playing the original game. You can only play this version with other VR users. We also know the online multiplayer will allow you to play with between four to 10 players. So Among Us VR is shaping up to potentially be one of the best multiplayer party games on the Quest. So what game in that lineup are you most looking forward to and why? Let me know in the comment section below. I've got to say it's great to see such an awesome lineup of games. It shows things are really heating up in the VR industry. And on that note, do remember I have my XR Takeaway newsletter giving you the latest XR VR news straight to your inbox bi-weekly, as well as other things. You've got prizes to win if you refer people. You get to have your say, as well as keep track of the latest game releases. It's all on that newsletter make sure you check it out and of course you can unsubscribe anytime if it's not for you so link in the description below if you want to sign up to that one 
Anyway, that's it for me for now. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll catch you in the next one.